Hello to everyone. This is Shantan Kumar, Department of Mathematics, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering College, Dudigal, Hyderabad. Today topic is the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the matrix. In previous class, we discussed based upon the rank of a matrix by using the determinant and eclan form of matrix and normal form of a matrix. Today, we are going to discuss that eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the given matrix. First of all, we need to go to discuss before going to discuss the eigenvalues and eigenvectors, how to find the procedure. In that procedure, what are the required the contents that is based upon the characteristic matrix and characteristic values and characteristic equation. First, we need to understand what is the characteristic equation. The characteristic equation is nothing but for example, if it is a consider A is a matrix A11, A12, A13, A21, A22, A23, A31, A32, A33. That is a matrix of order is 3 by 3, be a square matrix. And consider I is the unit matrix of order such that the matrix is the order is 3 by 3, that is I3, consider 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, be identity matrix. And also we assume that lambda be any scan. And with the help of that A, I and also lambda, we need to find out what is the characteristic matrix. The characteristic matrix is obtained, that is a box of A minus lambda I, that you get the matrix, such type of the matrix is called as a characteristic matrix. And after that finding the characteristic matrix, we need to understand what is a characteristic polynomial. The characteristic polynomial is nothing but whatever we know that the characteristic matrix, we need to find the debt that is the determinant of a minus lambda i is called as a characteristic polynomial. And after that getting the characteristic polynomial, when we are equating is equal to 0, we get the equation form. That equation is called as a characteristic equation of the given matrix A. That is the meaning of the data of a minus lambda i is equal to 0. We get the equation is in terms of lambda. That such type of that equation is known as a characteristic equation of the given matrix A. And next, we go to discuss that procedure to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the given matrix 3 by 3. And that is nothing but write the consider the characteristic equation. That is the equation with the help of the data of a minus lambda i is equal to 0. By solving that equation, we get the third order is given. Then you obtain that is the third order polynomial equation that is in the form of lambda q minus s1 lambda square plus s2 lambda minus s3 is equal to 0. And find that values are s1 comma s2 comma s3. Here the meaning of s1 and also s2 and also s3 by solving that we get the values are and after defining that s1, s2, s3 when we are going to replace in this characteristic equation by solving that we obtain that lambda 1 comma lambda 2 comma lambda 3. Because of the characteristic equation is a third order by solving that equation we obtain the three values that is lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3. This lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3 are called as eigenvalues. That is the meaning of the eigenvalues is nothing but lambda 1 comma lambda 2 comma lambda 3. Sometimes it is called as a characteristic roots, characteristic values and proper values and latent roots are also. These are the synonyms for the eigenvalues of the given matrix that is A only. Next, we need to find out what is the eigenvalues is also known as a characteristic roots and latent roots, proper roots and eigenvectors is also known as a characteristic vector and latent vector, proper vector, the corresponding to the eigenvalue that is a lambda of the given matrix. And we need to understand or something remember when we are going to consider that is a, a verification, the sum of the eigenvalues is satisfied that is a trace of the matrix. That is by solving that characteristic equation, we obtain that lambda values that is lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3, whatever we consider that eigenvalues, that is the sum of the eigenvalues is equal to the trace of the matrix. The trace is nothing but the uh, diagonal, the sum of the values is nothing but that is a trace of the matrix. And one more thing, we need to cross, cross the cross verification, that is a product of the eigenvalues is equal to the determinant of the matrix. And whatever we obtain, that is a lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3, when we are going to cross verification, that is a product of the eigenvalues is equal to the determinant of the given matrix is satisfied. If the two conditions satisfied, whatever we obtain the eigenvalues, that the values are correct, we consider. Next, we need to find out if one of the eigenvalues of the matrix A is 0. 
That means, for example, lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3, if any one of the eigenvalues is 0, if it is obtained, such type of the matrix is satisfied, that is a singular matrix. That is the data of the matrix A is equal to 0. And at the time, the inverse of the matrix which is does not exist. And we need to understand, for example, the matrix form and again the name of the matrix and also eigenvalues. For example, if it is a consider the matrix is a 0, 0, 0, D0 and 0, 0, F. And such type of the matrix is called as a diagonal matrix. Why? Because according to the definition of the diagonal matrix, it is non diagonal elements are the 0. And at the time, the eigenvalues of this is the diagonal matrix is satisfied the diagonal elements. That is nothing but consider the eigenvalues is equal to that is A comma d comma f and similarly if it is a comma b comma c and 0 d e and 0 0 f and such type of the matrix is called as a triangular matrix and under the triangular matrix this clearly it is satisfied the upper triangular matrix and according to the definition of the upper triangular matrix below the diagonal elements it is satisfied the zero and if it is a given matrix is the upper triangular matrix the diagonal elements are clearly the diagonal Values. Here the diagonal elements are a comma d comma f only. Therefore, here the eigenvalues is equal to a d f only. And similarly, if the matrix is a 0 0 and b c 0 d e f and at the time the matrix is called as a lower triangular matrices because of the above the diagonal elements are the 0. And according to here also, if it is upper triangular matrix as well as the lower triangular matrix is satisfied, the eigenvalues of the given matrix is satisfied, that is the diagonal elements. But in this problem, it is eigenvalues are A comma C comma F only. Now, we need to understand that is a two better matrices. For example, A comma 0 and 0 and also B. And it is also clearly that is a diagonal matrix under the two by two order of the given matrix and here the eigenvalues are a comma b according to the diagonal elements and similarly if it is a b 0 d and it is also the given matrix is a upper triangular matrices according to the definition it is a below the diagonal elements are zero therefore the eigenvalues are a comma d only and similarly the given matrix is a a 0 b c and here also the given matrix is satisfied the lower triangular matrices therefore it is above the diagonal elements are the zero therefore here also the eigenvalues are the diagonal elements therefore here the eigenvalues of the diagonal elements are a comma c only therefore these are the clear conclusion of the depend upon the upper triangular matrix and diagonal matrix under the two by two and also that is a three by three matrix and further we need to understand the sum of the properties based upon the matrix and including the eigenvalues for example the given matrix is a and according to the eigenvalues of the given matrix is lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3. Therefore, the eigenvalues of A is equal to, for example, minus 1, comma, 2, comma, that is a 5. That means the given matrix is eigenvalues are the 3 by 3 matrix. The eigenvalues are corresponding that is a minus 1, comma, 2, comma, 5. And based upon the properties, the A transpose of the eigenvalues are also lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3 that is a transpose is equal to that is a minus 1 comma 2 comma 5 that means there is a no change of the transpose of the eigenvalues are also the eigenvalues of the given matrix and one more thing here if it is a uh, k into that is a that is nothing but k into lambda 1 k into lambda 2 and k into lambda 3 and similarly based upon the multiplication of the any non zero number the eigenvalues are also clearly the multiplication of the corresponding eigenvalues that is nothing but when we are going to multiplication that 4 into minus 1 is a minus 4 and 4 into 2 is a 8 and 4 into 5 is a 20 and similarly we need to observe that uh, um, by using the 3 by 3 matrix how to find the eigenvalues and also eigenvectors. First we need to discuss the eigenvalues of the given matrix. Therefore here the matrix is a is equal to 4, 0, 1, 5, 0, 1 and 1, 1, 0 minus 1, 1, 0. Therefore first we need to calculate with the help of the characteristic matrix that is a characteristic equation. Therefore the characteristic equation of the given matrix A is given by that is lambda cube minus S1 lambda square plus S2 lambda minus A3 is equal to 0, where the values are, it is a considered the equation is 1, where that SVN is satisfied the trace of the matrix and that is nothing but here the trace of the matrix is a 5 plus 1 plus 0, therefore it is clearly there is a 6 value. And similarly, we need to find out what is a S2, that S2 is nothing but sum of the principal diagonal elements. Therefore, here the principal diagonal elements are 5 comma 1 comma 0, 
first we need to calculate what is the phi cofactor therefore phi cofactor is nothing but it is 1 0 0, 1, 0. that is nothing but after neglecting that uh, first column and first row and similarly the second column and second row is also neglected the determinant of this is also phi comma 1 minus 1 0 and the third one is also that column corresponding the row after neglecting here the values are clearly that is a 5 0 1 z 1 therefore we need to find out individually that is a 3 by 3 match that is a 2 by 2 determinant and after finding the 2 by 2 determinant we need to find out addition of that these are the three determinant value and corresponding one by one the first one the date is a 0 and the second one date is clearly 7 the third one date is clearly 5 Therefore, the sum of the cofactor diagonal elements are 0 plus 7 plus 5 is equal to that is a 12. Therefore, this is the S2 is equal to that is a 12. And similarly, we need to find out S3. The S3 is nothing but the determinant of the given matrix. Here, the determinant of the given matrix is nothing but 5 into 0 minus 0 minus 0 plus 1 into 1 plus 7. That is a 3 by 3 date as we know that how to find that. Therefore, the data of the matrix is equal to clearly after the simplification, we obtain that is a 8 only. Therefore, by solving these are the S1, S2, S3, when we are going to replace in the equation 1, Therefore, from the equation 1, we obtain that clearly there is S1 cube minus S1 lambda square plus S2 lambda minus S3 is equal to 0. Therefore, the equation is by using that S1, S2, S3, it is clearly there is lambda cube minus 6 lambda square plus 12 lambda minus 8 is equal to 0. Because of, as we know that the value of S1 is equal to 6, S2 is equal to 12 and S3 is equal to 8. Now, by solving this is the equation 2. Therefore, we need to find out the equation by using the synthetic division or like any other by using the quadratic cubic equation or any other method. While we are going to solve in this equation, one of the e root is satisfied that lambda is equal to 2. Therefore, it is lambda is equal to 2. And after getting the lambda is equal to 2, therefore, we need to find out the remaining two solution. Therefore, it is lambda is equal to is nothing but after dividing like the lambda is equal to 2 that is lambda minus 2 into by using the synthetic division here the first row is the 1 minus 6 12 and minus 8 that is a coefficient of lambda cube lambda square lambda and constant and again it is lambda is equal to 2 therefore it is clearly by according to that after the simplification you obtain that 1 and again that uh, similarly it is values are minus 4 and again similarly my, um, Four. Therefore, when we are going to consider this is the equation that is lambda minus 2 into that is a lambda square minus 4 lambda plus 4 is, to, is equal to 0. And once again, we need to find out the quadratic equation with the help of the lambda square minus 4 lambda plus 4 is equal to 0. We obtain that clearly once again the lambda minus 2 whole square is equal to 0. Therefore, the conclusion of this uh, given matrix with the help of the characteristic equation, we obtain the lambda is equal to 2 comma 2 comma that is the uh, two values. Therefore, here 1 by 1 the eigenvalues of lambda is equal to 1 and lambda is equal to 2 and lambda is 3 is also that is a uh, 2 only. Therefore, the given matrix eigenvalues are lambda is equal to 2 comma 2 comma 2 only. Therefore, if you want to cross verification, the sum of the eigenvalues is equal to the trace of the matrix and product of the eigenvalues is equal to the determinant of the matrix. Here, the sum of the eigenvalues is equal to 2 plus 2 plus 2 that is a 6. Therefore, the trace of the matrix are also clearly we need to satisfy that is a 6 only. And similarly, we need to check it. The second problem that is find the eigenvalues of the following matrix 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. And here also, we need to find out what is the characteristic equation of the given matrix. That is, as we know that lambda cube minus S1 lambda square plus S2 lambda minus S3 is equal to 0. And here also, equation consider 1. Therefore, that S1 is nothing but the trace of the matrix. Here, the trace of the matrix is 0 plus 0 plus 0 the value of S1 is equal to 0 and similarly S2 is equal to the sum of the minus of the that is the diagonal elements. Therefore, the first one minor is nothing but after neglecting the column and row corresponding we obtain that is a 0, 1, 1, 0 and similarly the second one the diagonal minor is also after neglecting the row particular that column it is clearly 0, 1, 1, 0. And again, similarly, the third column and the third row is also neglecting. We obtain the data of that is a 0, 1, that is a 1, 0. And we need to find out what is the data of these three individual matrices. And we need to addition of these are the three 
individual that is the data of the matrix here clearly first one is a minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 therefore that is a s2 is equal to the sum of the cofactor diagonal elements are that is a minus 3 finally we need to find out what is s3 that s3 is nothing but the determinant of the given matrix therefore the data of the matrix is a 0 into 0 minus 1 minus 1 into 0 minus 1 plus 1 into 1 minus 0 therefore the value of s3 is equal to clearly we obtain that is a 2 only and after getting these are the s1 and s2 and s3 when we are going to replace in the equation assume that 1 therefore from the equation 1 that is a lambda q minus s1 lambda square plus s2 lambda minus s3 is equal to 0 by using s1 s2 s3 the values are 0 minus 3 2 we obtain that lambda q minus 0 lambda square minus 3 into lambda minus 2 is equal to 0 now we need to consider equation 2 by solving this is also that is a synthetic division one by one finding the factors it is one of the factor is lambda is equal to minus one in the equation one in the equation two that is clearly satisfied lambda is equal to minus one and with the help of this is the lambda is equal to minus one we need to follow with the help of the synthetic division find out the remaining the two equation therefore one by one according to the coefficients of the lambda cube lambda square lambda and constant the values are one zero minus three minus two therefore one of the root is already we identified that is lambda is equal to that is a minus one therefore by using this synthetic division process we obtain that second order equation is clearly that is one comma minus one comma that is a minus two therefore we need to consider in the equation that is a quadratic equation that is with the help of the given equation that is qb equation lambda plus one into lambda square minus lambda minus two is equal to zero finally once again we need to find out what is the quadratic equation with the help of the secondary one therefore we obtain that according to that factors method that is a lambda plus one into lambda minus two into lambda plus one is equal to zero therefore here the values are lambda is equal to minus one and lambda minus two is equal to zero is nothing but lambda is equal to two and lambda plus one is equal to zero is nothing but lambda is equal to once again minus one is a value therefore the conclusion of this is a given matrix eigenvalues are lambda is equal to minus 1, 2, minus 1. Therefore, if we need to cross verification, the sum of the eigenvalues is equal to that is minus 1 plus 2 minus 1. Therefore, the trace of the matrix are also clearly satisfied 0. Therefore, once again, if we need to cross verification, that is a product of the eigenvalues is equal to that is a minus 1 into 2 into minus 1 is nothing but that is a 2 value. Therefore, the determinant of the given matrix are also satisfied that is a 2 value. And finally, we need to consider that is the third one. Find the eigenvalues of the given matrix A minus 5, 4, 34, 0, 0, 4, 0, 0, 4. And here we need to find out what is eigenvalues of the given matrix. First of all, if you are going to observe this is the matrix, it is clearly satisfied that is a given matrix is the upper triangular matrix because of the below the diagonal elements are the zero and according to the property whenever the given matrix is upper triangular matrix the diagonal elements are satisfied the eigenvalues of the given matrix therefore it is a matrix of the eigenvalues is nothing but it is a diagonal elements are minus 5 comma 0 comma 4 therefore the eigenvalues of this matrix are also that is a minus 5 comma 0 comma 4 and similarly find the other one the matrix find the eigenvalues of the following matrix that a is equal to 3 1 4 0 2 6 0 0 5 and here also the given matrix is satisfied that is upper triangular matrix therefore by using the properties of the given matrix is the upper triangular matrix therefore the eigenvalues of the given matrix are the diagonal elements here also the eigenvalues of the diagonal elements are 3 comma 2 comma 5 therefore it is a is the eigenvalues are 3 comma 2 comma 5 only now we need to understand one other the definition if it is let a is equal to a11 a12 a13 a21 a22 a23 a31 a32 a33 b a square matrix of order 3 and also assume that i is also the corresponding unit matrix of order 3 that is a consider 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 and also we need to consider that is a lambda b in scalar and with the help of the da lambda i we need to find out what is the data of m minus lambda i is called as a characteristic polynomial by equating is equal to 0 that is a characteristic equation 
that is nothing but the data of m is lambda is equal to zero. Up to that previous problems, we need to complete it by using that according to a i and also lambda that is eigenvalues we completed. Now further we need to find out what is the eigenvectors of the given matrix that based upon the eigenvalues only we need to find the eigenvectors that is the corresponding eigenvalues. Here first of all write the characteristic equation that is a lambda cube minus lambda 1 lambda square plus s2 lambda minus s3 is equal to 0. Find the that is S1, S2, S3 by using the values are condition. S1 is the trace of the matrix, S2 is the sum of the cofactor diagonal and S3 is nothing but, that is nothing but determinant of the matrix. And after that, we need to find out what is the eigenvalues that is called as latent roots or proper values by solving synthetic division or any factorization method that is the third order we get that is the three eigenvalues. Therefore, after finding that lambda eigenvalues that is lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3, we need to find out that is a solve the system that is a1, a minus lambda into x is equal to 0 using the Gauss elimination method or if possible that is a Eklund form or by using any one of the cross, cross multiplication process also. We need to obtain that is a eigenvector. Here, that eigenvector is nothing but the solutions of x of a bo, that is a system that is depend upon the given matrix. And repeat the process that is a fourth equation that is depend upon the lambda is equal to 1. And similarly, we need to find out what is a lambda 2 and the lambda 3 also the corresponding eigenvectors that is consider x2 comma and also x3. Now, we need to go to discuss that one by one sum of the problems. Find the eigenvalues of the corresponding eigenvectors of the matrix. That means we need to find out first of all whatever the eigenvalues. And after that finding the eigenvalues, we need to find out what is the eigenvector. Here the given matrix is the A is the 3 by 3 matrix. Therefore, we obtain that is the third order cubic equation that is with the help of the characteristic equation. First, we need to find out what is the characteristic equation. That is data of A minus lambda is equal to 0. According to A is the given matrix, lambda B is scalar, that is a lambda B is in a scalar and I is a unit vector corresponding that is a 3 by 3. And with the help of the data of A minus lambda I, we obtain that is a lambda cube minus S1 lambda square plus S2 lambda minus S3 is equal to 0. If it is a consider equation 1, we need to find out whatever that S1 similarly, that S1 is nothing but the trace of the matrix. In this matrix, the trace of the matrix is clearly that is a sum of the diagonal elements. Here, the diagonal elements are 5 comma 0, 5 comma 1 comma 0. That S1 is nothing but that 5 plus 1 plus 0. Therefore, the value of the S1 is equal to clearly that is a 6 value. And similarly, we need to find out what is the S2. Therefore, S2 is equal to the sum of the minus of the principal diagonal elements. Therefore, that S2 is nothing but we need to find out what is the cofactor of that first one that is after neglecting the first row and first column the value of 1 0 1 0 and similarly the middle of the cofactor value is neglecting after that is a, a row a particular row and column we obtain that is a 5 1 minus 7 0 that is after uh, corresponding the row and de deleted uh, row and column and uh, similarly the third value is also the cofactor means we need to eliminate that uh, particular row and column after remove that row and column, we obtain that 5, 0, 1, 1. Therefore, we need to find out these are the three matrices, particularly that is a 2 by 2 debt value. Again, we need to add that three determinant values. Therefore, the first one value is the debt is a 0, second one debt is a 7, third one debt is a 5. Therefore, the sum of the here, the principal diagonal elements are 0 plus 7 plus 5 is equal to 12. Therefore, similarly, we need to find out what is S3. That S3 is nothing but the determinant of the given matrix. Therefore, the data of this matrix is the given matrix is a 5 into 0 minus 0 minus 0 plus 1 into 1 plus 1. After that simplification, here we obtain that clearly the value of S3 is equal to is 8 only. And after getting these are the S1 and S2 and S3, when we are considered that is equation 1, you replace. Therefore, we obtain that is a lambda cube minus S1 lambda square plus S2 lambda minus S3 is equal to 0. And here, by using that whatever we obtain the lambda S1, S2, S3, after replacement of in this equation, we obtain that clearly that is a lambda cube minus 6 lambda square plus 12 lambda minus 8 is equal to 0. 
now we need to find out what about the uh, three roots of the given matrix that is with the help of the synthetic division or factorization method or any other by using the methods here for example if it is a satisfied one of the root is lambda is equal to 2 therefore after replacement of in this equation lambda is equal to 2 the equation is clearly satisfied therefore it is a lambda is equal to 2 is a one of the eigen values of the given matrix and similarly we need to find out the remaining the two eigen values with the help of this is the second equation by using the synthetic division therefore according to the synthetic division the first row is a 1 minus 6 12 minus 8 and again if it is a lambda is equal to is one of the root is satisfied therefore the root of the equation is clearly that is a quadratic equation you obtain 1 by 1 that is a 1 and again similarly 4 minus 4 and the third one is a 4 value therefore it is equal to lambda square minus 4 lambda plus 4 is equal to 0 therefore we need to find out the totally the three equation one by one by using the factors by using the quadratic equation or any by using the methods therefore it is called lambda is equal to lambda minus 2 and uh, similarly from the cell lambda square minus 4 lambda plus 4 is also we obtain that roots are lambda minus 2 and lambda minus 2 the two roots and finally here the th three roots are the given equation that is equal to lambda is equal to 2 comma 2 comma 2 value and here Therefore, lambda 1 is equal to 2, and lambda 2 is equal to 2, and lambda 3 is equal to 2. If it is a confirmation, we need to uh, calculate that is the sum of the eigenvalues is equal to the trace of the matrix. It is a clearly satisfied the 2 plus 2 plus 2. Therefore, the sum of the eigenvalues is satisfied clearly the trace of the matrix. And now we need to find out the corresponding that eigenvector that lambda is equal to. 2 only. Therefore, if it is a lambda is equal to 2, the eigenvectors of that according to the given matrix by the definition that is a, a minus lambda into x is equal to 0, where x is a considered eigenvector that is a non-zero vector. Therefore, while we are going to replace the lambda is equal to 2, it is clearly that a minus 2a into x is equal to 0. By solving that a minus 2a is equal to, here 1 by 1, the first row is a 5 minus 2, 0, 1. The second row is a 1, 1 minus 2, 0. The third row is a minus 7, 1, 0, minus 2. And after that simplification, here the matrix is obtained that clearly 3, 0, 1, 1 minus 1, 0, minus 7, 1, minus 2 is the value. And again, here we assume that x is a non zero vector, that is x, y, z is a three values. And again, that 0 is any column vector, you consider 0, comma, 0, comma, 0. If it is a consider that is augmented matrix with the help of that coefficient of the matrix and also the column matrix together side by side according to that augmented matrix it is equal to b0 therefore the values are 3 0 1 1 minus 1 0 minus 7 1 minus 2 and last column is a 0 0 0 by using that here that uh, by using the elementary row operations here that is nothing but we need to reduce it to like that uh, eclan form of a matrix that is indirectly Gauss elimination method. First, we are applying like R12, that is nothing but interchange of like R1 and also R2. And at the time, the row is we are not going to changing anything. That is, first we need to consider minus 7, 1, minus 2, 0. And after interchanging like that R1 and R2, we obtain that clearly first row is 1, minus 1, 0, 0, and second row is 3, 0, 1, 0. Now, we need to use by using that first row, first element, first value that is a 1. When we are going to applying on that second row, that is a first element that is a R2 minus 3 R1. Therefore, by applying that R3, R12 of minus 3 is also nothing but that is R2 minus 3 R1. By using the, the properties of we called a recalled a like a shortcut that is a notation. Therefore, the first row is a 1 minus 1 0 0. The second row is after applying like R12 of minus 3, the row values are changed to like that 0, 3, 1, 0. And the third row is by applying like uh, R13 of 7, that is nothing but R3 plus that is a 7 R1. Here, we need to understand clearly that is R12 of minus 3 is nothing but that is a R2 minus that is a 3 R1. And similarly, if you need to remember that is a R13 of 7 is nothing but it is a R3 minus that is a 7R1. These are the notations are called as like a, uh, 
elementary operations by using the elementary row operations and here r13 of 7 after applying like here the row values are that is a third row is changed to like the 0 minus 6 minus 2 and also 0 and here also it is not clearly the echelon form of a matrix once again we need to applying uh, like on uh, the third row with the help of that is a uh, second row when we are going to applying like uh, 1 by 3 of R2, first we need to applying that is nothing but R2 divided by like the 3. Therefore, the remaining that first row and third column we consider as it is, there is no change 1 minus 1 0 0, 0 minus 6 minus 2 0. Only we are applying like that on second row. Therefore, we need to change like the second row only. Therefore, that 0 comma 1 comma 1 by 3 comma 0. And now we need to use by using the uh, middle of the row and the first element that is one value the third row that minus six we need to change it to zero only that is by applying the operation of r23 of six here once again you need to remember that is r2 of that is a three six is nothing but that is r3 that is a plus that is a six into r2 therefore by so using such type of this is the operation therefore here the first row and second row there is no change while we are going to implementing on the third row the third row is changed to like the 0 comma 0 comma 0 and final the values are also 0 therefore we are clearly satisfied this is indirectly this eclan form of matrix by using the gauss elimination method by applying like only row operation therefore with the help of this is the eclan form of a matrix comes there it is a first row is a first column is x second column is y third column is z and the last values are like that 0 0 0 therefore it is a uh, according to that rank of this matrix is a 2 therefore that is a uh, according to the rank of a is equal to 2 and rank of a b is also like the 2 by using the property of like rank a is equal to rank a b and is equal to both are the same that is a consistent condition and is less than n that is nothing but the number of it is a consistent as well as it is a number of infinite solution and if it is if it is required to find the number of infinite solution here that is a consider x minus y plus 0 into z is equal to 0 and y plus 1 by 3 into z is equal to that is 0 by taking here that is a z is equal to t is any non-zero number that is a real number for all values of t belongs to r therefore from the second equation you obtain that y is equal to that is a minus 1 by 3 into z therefore here by taking that uh, z is equal to like the t already assumed that is y is also that is minus 2 by 3 is a value therefore Similarly, therefore, here x minus y is equal to 0, therefore, according to that first equation, x is equal to, that is y, as we know that the y is equal to minus 2 by 3, therefore, x is also clearly minus t by 3 is a value. Therefore, thus the eigenvectors of the corresponding eigenvalues lambda is equal to 2 is clearly consider x is equal to x, y, z. Here, that first value is just now completed, that is a minus t by 3, and t is equal to that y is equal to minus t by 3, and z is equal to t because of x is equal to y is a value and for all values of t belongs to r number for example if it is a t is equal to any one value therefore clearly we obtain that is a minus 1 by 3 and y is also like the minus 1 by 3 and z is equal to also that is a one value for example if it is a consider t is any real number that is a if it is a substitution that t is equal to 3 therefore we obtain that one by one it is minus 1 minus 1 and also 3 it is also one of the eigenvector corresponding that lambda is equal to 2 value that is depend upon the given matrix uh, consider that is a t value and similarly we need to uh, discuss that one other problem that is a uh, find the eigenvalues of the and also that eigenvectors of the given matrix a is equal to 3 1 4 0 2 6 and 0 0 5 only first of all here we need to observe that what type of the given matrix if it is uh, any one of the standard form like either the diagonal or triangular matrix, no need to simplification. But here, the this matrix is clearly the given matrix is upper triangular matrix because of the below the diagonal elements are the zero. Therefore, according to the property of this is the matrix, the eigenvalues of this matrix is clearly that is a 3, 2, 5 because of the diagonal elements. And therefore, we need to find out the corresponding eigenvectors of that is a 3, 2, 5. Therefore, for lambda is equal to 3, the eigenvectors of the given matrix A minus lambda into X is equal to 0 by replacement of lambda is equal to 3. Therefore, we obtain that A minus 3 I into X is equal to 0, where here X is a non-zero eigenvector. 
you assume that B is equal to A minus 3i. Therefore, um, after replacement of like the diagonal elements lambda is equal to 3, the given matrix is reduced to 0, 1, 4 and 0 minus uh, 1, 6 and 0, 0, 2. Therefore, X is assumed that is a eigenvector that is a corresponding column X by Z and 0 is also nothing but consider 0, 0, 0. While we are going to consider there is a B, Z together the side by side, it is called as augmented matrix. Therefore, here the augmented matrix is nothing but 0, 1, 4. 0, minus 1, 6 and 0, 0, 2. The last column is also clearly 0, 0, 0. And here, this matrix we need to change it to like the Declan form by using that uh, elementary row operation that indirectly reduces it to Gauss elimination method. Therefore, with the help of that first element, it is a first row, it is a 1. And again, the second row, the element is a, that is a minus 1. Now, we need to change it to minus 1 is equal to 0 by using the operation of R2 plus R1 that is nothing but the notation of R1 to of 1 is nothing but R2 plus that is R1. Therefore, by applying like uh, R1 to of 1, the matrix is changed to like that. Uh, uh, there is no change of that R1 and also R3. Only we are changing to like that R2. Therefore, 0, 1, 4, 0, 0, 0, 10, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 2 and also 0. And here also this matrix is the not equivalent form. Therefore, by using that element row operation on uh, applying on that uh, second row, when we are going to divide like, like R2 divided by 5, that is with the help of that uh, R3, that is R23 of minus 1 by 5, there, that is nothing but we are uh, changing it to like that uh, third row only. Therefore, by applying this is the operation, the first row is 0, 1, 4, 0, the second row is 0, 0, 10, 0, the third row is 0, 0, 0. Therefore, it is clearly the Eklund form of a matrix because of it is satisfied that according to elementary operations as well as the Eklund form of a matrix. Now, we need to find out what is the equation form that is 0 into x plus 1 into y plus 4 into z is equal to 0 and 0 into x, y 0 into y and 10 into z is equal to 0 and 0 into x, 0 into y, 0 into z is equal to 0. By assume that x is equal to t and t is a real value, then automatically from the back substitution method, the first row and second row is clearly y plus that is a like last one is a 10 z into 0 is equal to 0, therefore z is equal to 0. From the second, the first row, that is a uh, y plus 4z is also 0. Here, already z is equal to 0. That means that y is also 0. Because of y plus 0 is also 0 is nothing but that y is also 0. Therefore, the corresponding eigenvectors of the given matrix lambda is equal to 3 is equal to that x is equal to the eigenvectors are x, y, z. Here, the values are that is t comma 0 comma 0 for all values of t belongs to any real number. For example, if it is considered t is equal to 1, therefore, the corresponding eigenvector is changed to 1, 0, 0. And similarly, if it is a, for example, t is equal to that is a 2, therefore, the eigenvectors are considered 2, 0, 0 by taking any that t belongs to any real number, we obtain such type of the matrix eigenvectors. And similarly, we need to consider that is a, see here, that lambda is equal to eigenvectors of the lambda is equal to 3 is a 1, 0, 0. That's clear. Now, we need to find out for lambda is equal to 2. Therefore, the eigenvectors of a minus lambda into x is equal to 0. Therefore, by replacement of lambda is equal to 2, that is a minus 2i into x is equal to 0, where b is equal to a minus 2i. Therefore, the matrix is clearly reduced to 1, 1, 4, 0, 0, 6 and 0, 0, 3. And x is nothing but, that is x, y, z. That 0 is nothing but 0, 0, 0. Therefore, we need to consider what is the augmented matrix that is a collection of B matrix and 0 matrix. Therefore, here the augmented matrix is obtained 1, 1, 4, 0, 0, 0, 6, 0, 0, 0 by using all these matrices here by using the operations, row operations here. We obtain this is a such type of this is the Eklan form of matrix 1140 Therefore, by back substitution method, if we if we need to consider like that uh, equation, we assume that y is equal to t, therefore the t belongs to any real number. And once again, by using the box sub back substitution method, it is a uh, z is equal to 0, and one other equation x plus y plus 4z is equal to 0. If it is z is equal to 0, the equation is x plus y is equal to 0. And we assume that y is equal to any or x is equal to any, 
t number or y therefore automatically x is equal to minus t. Therefore, the eigenvectors are corresponding eigenvectors are clearly the lambda is equal to is that is x is equal to minus t t and also t because of we are already in this equation we assume that y is equal to t be any arbitrary constant then x is equal to minus t and z is equal to 0 that is by using the Eklund form of a matrix. For example, if it is a t is equal to take out common constant, therefore the values are minus 1 comma 1 comma 0 and also 1 comma 1 comma 0 only. And similarly, now we need to find out what is a eigenvector corresponding lambda is equal to phi. Therefore, here also that lambda is equal to phi, the corresponding eigenvectors are a minus lambda into x is equal to 0. Therefore, we obtain that a minus lambda that is 5 into i into x is equal to 0. If it is consider b is equal to that is a minus 5i by using that given matrix with the help of the 5 into i therefore the matrix is reduced to minus 2 1 4 0 minus 3 6 0 0 0 that x is a non-zero eigenvector x y z and 0 is equal to 0 0 0 therefore the augmented matrix is obtained the collection of the b matrix and 0 together side by side therefore the matrix is like a minus 2 1 4 0 1 minus 2 0 like according to all these matrices by applying a like element row operations reduced to Eklund form matrix finally you obtain that minus 2 1 4 0 0 1 minus 2 0 0 0 0 0 let us consider z is equal to t be any real number for all values of t belongs to any real number applying the back substitution method here also 0 into x plus 1 into y minus 2 into z is equal to 0 and one other equation minus 2 into x plus y plus 4z is equal to 0 but whatever we obtain that is y minus 2z is equal to 0 therefore y is equal to 2z therefore by that consider that z is equal to t is any real number already assumed therefore y is equal to 2t therefore by using this is a y and also z from the equation 1 that is a minus 2x plus y plus z is 4z is equal to 0 therefore the 2x is equal to y plus 4z Therefore, as we know that y is equal to 2t and z is equal to t, therefore 2x is equal to here also that 6t and also that x is equal to 3t is a value. Therefore, here the corresponding eigenvectors that is lambda is equal to phi that x2 is equal to xyz is nothing but 3t, 2t and t. By taking any t is a real number that is assumed that t is equal to 1, we obtain that clearly the eigenvector the corresponding lambda is equal to 5 is 3 comma 2 comma 1 these are the this is the third eigen vector corresponding lambda is equal to 5 therefore the conclusion of that given matrix lambda is equal to 3 the corresponding eigen vector is 1 0 0 the corresponding eigen value lambda is equal to 2 the eigen vector is minus 1 1 1 0 the eigen values corresponding lambda is equal to 5 the eigen vector is 3 comma 2 comma 1 is a values. Similarly, when we are going to discuss that one other problem like uh, given matrix A is equal to 8 minus 4 2 2, this is a given 2 by 2 matrix. When we are going to find out the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of this corresponding this matrix, here according to the characteristic matrix is a, a minus lambda i. By solving that characteristic equation data of a minus lambda is equal to 0, we obtain that characteristic equation is a lambda q lambda square minus 10 lambda plus 24 is equal to 0. By solving this quadratic equation by using the synthetic division or factorization method, we obtain that lambda is equal to 6 comma 4. If you need to cross verification, the sum of the eigenvalues is equal to that 6 plus 4 is equal to the 10. The trace of the matrix 8 plus 2 is also that is a 10. Therefore, the sum is equal to the trace of the matrix is clearly satisfied. And moreover, the product of the eigenvalues is equal to that is a 24. The data of the matrix is also clearly satisfied 24. Here we need to cross verification. These are the two condition. And after that, when we are going to find out the corresponding eigenvector lambda is equal to first one lambda is equal to 4. The equation a minus lambda i into x is equal to 0, where x is a non-zero eigenvector, lambda is a eigenvalue. By using that augmented matrix and equation form finally we obtain that one of the eigenvectors x1 is equal to corresponding lambda is equal to 4 eigenvector is 1 comma 1 and similarly while we are going to find out the corresponding lambda is equal to 6 the eigenvectors are by using the 
Eklund form equation, we obtain that lambda 2 is equal, x2 is equal, that is 2 comma 1. Therefore, these are the two eigenvalues corresponding eigenvectors, that is 2 comma 6. Therefore, 2 is equal to, that is 4 comma 6. Therefore, 4 is equal to clearly 1 comma 1. And here 6 is equal to, that is 2 comma 1 only values. And similarly, one other problem that is the 3 by 3 matrix, find the eigenvalues corresponding the eigenvectors of the matrix 2, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 1, 0, 2. Here also when we are going to find out that I characteristic equation data of a minus lambda is equal to 0. By using the equation, the data after that solving that here lambda q minus s1 lambda square minus s2 lambda plus s4 minus s4 is equal to s3 is equal to 0. 1 by 1 after solving s1, s2, s3. And again, by solving that equation, character's equation, we obtain that lambda eigenvalues are 1 to 3. Here also, if you need to cross multiplication, 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to that is a 6. And also, it is 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 6. Therefore, the trace of the matrix are also clearly that is a 6. Similarly, we need to find out what about that eigenvectors, corresponding eigenvectors. Here, one of the eigenvalues, that is a lambda is equal to, that is 1. The corresponding eigenvectors are clearly by using that here minus 1, 0, 1 and similarly we need to find out the remaining uh, eigenvalues corresponding eigenvectors. This is the clear procedure involved to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors by using the characteristic equation. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.